Okay, so uh, here I've got my three different size blades that we're going to be handling. I'm going to be using a KVG60, so this is a 60 millimeter wide profile. Uh, we've got 10 millimeter wide uh, thick foam here, and you can see this uh, custom hole pattern it is a bunch of very small diameter holes, so that'll allow us to pick any of these sizes. Uh, with doing a handoff with these, we can't do the handoff and have two tools kind of overlapping because they'll pull vacuum on each other. Um, so instead, we'll have to have one tool gripping at the top and pass it off to another tool that is, say, on the bottom half or in a separate area uh, just so they don't overlap. So I'll go through and I'll show that we can grip on the top half and the bottom half of all of these different blades. So there's the top half, and then I'll go on the smaller bottom half. So good grip on both sides there. Uh, now I'll move on to kind of these medium sized ones. kind of the bottom half and I'll go to the top half very similar so uh, and now the small ones which is the least surface area so these might be the trickiest uh, but Pulling back on the cable and losing them here, so let me just get them aligned correctly so that I'm actually pulling vacuum on the parts and not the cable. So we did have one drop there at the end, we were kind of really flying around, but um, you know, overall it's a really good grip. Uh, one thing just to, be no to keep note of is that you can potentially pull vacuum on the table underneath. Uh, so the operation will need to be come down and just make contact. If you come and press down, uh, you will uh, make vacuum with whatever the surface underneath it is, which you can overcome by pulling off, but it's stress on the foam, which could cause premature wear, uh, it's really best to come down and just make contact and let the foam pull the parts up to the gripper instead.